Hey everybody, Jordan Adler here coming to you live from Jerome, Arizona, up here in the mountains between Prescott and Sedona, right on the mountain looking east. And uh, it's good to be with you tonight. Tonight I want to talk about strategy and heart as it relates to building your greener still business. My good friend, Larry Levine, he might be on tonight. Uh, probably when he saw the title, he goes, you know what? I probably need to get on tonight. Larry wrote the best-selling book, Selling from the Heart, Leading with Heart. And Cody talked about this on his Zoom earlier. And it's really interesting how much synchronicity there is between what, you know, the way we think. Um, he jumped on and talked about this stuff. And I don't think he even knew what I was going to be talking about tonight. And I happen to have a very similar topic, probably a little bit of a different twist on it, but I am going to be talking about the strategy of building your greener still business and the importance of keeping your heart in it. So as we launch these new services under greener still, it's important that we always remember that the backbone of our model is heart centered. We must never, ever forget this. And this is what Cody's entire training was on earlier tonight. So all the principles that Cody talks about in his books, uh, promptings and the power of human connection still apply. Nothing has changed. Stay in the flow of sending cards out daily and teach, your, teach the people that you know, people that you that, that do business with, people that do business with us, uh, prospects that you meet with, friends, teach them the importance of this, cards that touch the hearts of the people that you send to. So look for reasons, always be looking for reasons to lift other people up, to, to help hearts heal. And of course, in business, there's no better way to open a door than to start with some kind of kind words sent on a card. So always remember that send out cards is our, is the, is our cornerstone service. Send out cards is our cornerstone service. Keep everything heart centered. So when I'm done here, before I get into ordering some services and some products, um, I want to give you some things that you can do to keep things heart centered. So, and most of you are really experts at this already, but sometimes it's good to be reminded. I know I need to remind myself from time to time. So let's talk strategy. Number one, use the services and products that will be beneficial to you. So get to know the services, get to know the products, and then just purchase what is going to be beneficial to you. That's the first step in the strategy. And the second step is share the system and the money-making opportunity. That's it. That's all we're doing. We're using the products and services that will be beneficial to us. And then we're sharing the system and the money-making opportunity and giving other people an opportunity to do the same thing. So we are right smack in the middle of a sweet spot. The biggest opportunity in the history of this company. Why? Because we have a program that people will want and need but they don't know about it. Go back to the chapter, I believe, I don't have the book in front of me, but I believe it's called The Numbers Don't Lie in Beach Money. It's towards the beginning of the book. Reread that chapter. It's only, I think, five pages where I, go, where I talk about drawing that grid on the wall and keeping tabs on myself to make sure I do three presentations a week. I think with what we're doing now, to do one a day at the very minimum and maybe even more than that every day if you're working the business more than part-time. Uh, I'm probably right now doing five a day, um, which is more than I've done in a really long time because I can't get to all the people. So each day now I'm showing new and existing prospects, the different programs, sharing the eight minute audio I created last week, which if you don't have that, I'll repost it in the group. It's an eight minute Zoom audio that talks about the greener still opportunity and the services. And I believe corporate might be redoing it, but it's really, I think it does the job for now. It doesn't have visuals. It's just me talking. And if you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. And I also put it on a Zoom recording. So I'll make sure you have that. But each day now I'm showing new and existing prospects, the different programs. And I'm getting them on a Zoom and I'm just giving them a tour of the greener still website and clicking on some of the services and talking about what I'm excited about. So no formal, I'm not doing a formal presentation per se, but I am doing that. And if they're interested, then I'm using the GS Pro app to forward them the two uh, duplication plan videos, which are under five minutes each. So here's a simple, here's some simple strategy for you. All right, I talked about the two things we do, but here's some simple strategy. And again, I will post this 
summary in the group. So you'll have all these. If you want to write them down, you can, but you don't need to because I'll post them in the group. The first one is a text message that you send to people. Um, I posted this in the group last week. When can I catch you for 20 minutes to give you a quick update on some things that we have going on that I think you might like? When It's a text message. You just send them. When can I catch you for 20 minutes to give you a quick update on some things that we have going on that I think you might like? The goal is to get some people on your calendar. And there's more people to meet with than we could possibly ever meet with right now. There's a lot of people that know about send out cards that use send out cards. There's a lot that know about send out cards that don't use send out cards. There's a lot of people that have been hearing the buzz about Greener Still. There's thousands of people that signed up on a better way that didn't get upgraded, that didn't get into the launch event and they don't know what's going on. These are people we need to meet with. We need to get them on a Zoom. When can I catch you for 20 minutes to give you a quick update on some things that we have going on? or I think you might like. And if you're having a conversation with somebody, if you see somebody, you can say that. Or here's another one. I'd like to bring you up to speed on some things that we launched on February 1st that have some big potential. Can we jump on a Zoom for 20 minutes so I can show you? The text message, right? I'd like to bring you up to speed on some things that we launched on February 1st that have some big potential. Can we jump on a Zoom for 20 minutes so I can show you? Again, same thing. You could say it in person, which I've, I've said it to people that I've you know, come across in conversation, or you can message it to people. And the key again is to fill your calendar and start using your Zoom to just give them a, an overview. Use the Greener Still website, go to greenerstill.com, log in, and then take them through the website, read Cody's mission, go to the bottom, click on the different products, show them the things that you're excited about. Now here's another, uh, here's a prospecting text. Uh, uh, I'm going to mention again, uh, Jim Carpenter and Cindy Jones. Um, Jim is using LinkedIn. Uh, I know a few of you are using LinkedIn. I think that's a huge untapped opportunity, but he uh, sends this message to lots of people every day and he's getting some good results. And this is the message he says, and again, I'll post this in the group. So you have it. I know this may be a complete, oh, and by the way, this came from um, one of the chapters in the Momentum Makers 100 social media tips. And I posted a picture of the page with this highlighted. Jim took it and he started using it on LinkedIn and he's getting positive responses from people. I know this may be a complete shot in the dark and I'm sure if this is a fit, I'm sure, I'm not sure rather if this is a fit for you, but may I ask you if you keep your options open in terms of additional ways to make money. So I'll read it again. I know this may be a complete shot in the dark, and I'm not sure if this is a good fit for you, but may I ask you if you're at all open to keep, are you at all, if you at all keep your options open in terms of additional ways to make money, all right? He's been sending, he's been messaging that to people that he doesn't know very well, but he is connected to them on LinkedIn. And some of the people, a small percentage, but some of them are responding positively back. He sent me one of the positive messages back today. And then what I'm proposing, what I'm suggesting that he do is send them the eight minute YouTube link um, that uh, I created this past weekend. Again, it's just an eight minute overview of the Greener Still opportunity where I go through all the services and I talk a little bit about the business and I tell them, I give them some suggestions on how to evaluate a business, six things that they can use to evaluate a business. And then I share the business through the filter of those three, six, those six things. So um, I'll, I'll put that, if you don't have that, if you go on to the official group, it's in there. Um, and then, in fact, I'll show it to you so you can see it, but then I'll also, uh, I'll also uh, put it in the group so you have the YouTube link. So who do you text, send these text messages who, to? Who do you set up appointments with? Old prospects, new prospects, send out cards users, people that used to be send out cards users, Facebook friends, People who contact you about other business, people, businesses, people who you do business with. Get your list going and start messaging people and getting some appointments on your calendar and decide in advance, how many appointments am I gonna do in a week and then keep track? So am I gonna do one a day, 30 minutes or 20 minutes a day? Am I gonna do three a day? Am I gonna do three a week? Make a decision and then make that decision to do it for the next year and then start doing three appointments a week or five appointments a week, one a day or whatever it is for you. And so here I wanna give you, um, I'm gonna spend just, I don't know, four minutes going over some simple principles for leading from the heart because it's not just about the mechanics of the strategy. If you just implement the mechanics, you won't 
necessarily have great results, you've got to lead with the heart. You've got to um, make sure that you infuse everything that we do is around the heart of the issue. So let's go through six things that you can do to lead with the heart. Number one, be respectful of time. What that means is if you tell them it's 20 minutes, keep it to 20 minutes unless they give you permission to go longer. So after 15 minutes, I'll say, do you have another 15 minutes? And they'll tell me. So I'm always respectful of their time. That's part of leading with the heart. Be respectful of their time. Number two, ask permission to continue. When I say, do you have another 15 minutes or do you have another 10 minutes? I'm asking permission to continue. I typically won't present anything until they've told me, yes, it's okay to present. So I'll ask something like, do you mind if I play an eight minute video for you? Or do you mind if I give you a quick tour of the website? Or would it be okay if we take the next 15 minutes? So I'm always asking permission to continue getting them to say yes and then proceeding. And that way I'm never um, overstepping my bounds in terms of what they're ready to take in and also the time frame. okay? Number three, generously thank, generously thank using messages, emails, and cards. And I just, uh, my kitchen behind me here just got completed. To, it's not completed, actually. That refrigerator right there is, is going to be replaced with a black refrigerator, but that's why I'm covering it up here because it really is not supposed to be in the picture. Um, but I'm sending thank you cards with gifts to everybody that helped work on my kitchen, including the people that did the countertops and the wall um, tile and the shelving and the hood over the oven, all that stuff, and my an interior designer. So I'm actually sending cards with gifts to all those people. I'm thanking them uh, sincerely and Really, they should be said thanking me, but I'm going to thank them. Generously, thank you, thank using messages, emails, and of course, cards and gifts. Number four is send gifts of gratitude. So number one, be respectful of time. Number two, ask permission to continue. Number three, generously thank using messages, emails, and cards. Number four, send gifts of gratitude. Number five, ask questions and listen. Build in time to establish rapport. So if I schedule 20 minutes, the first five minutes is going to be just completely rapport building where I'm getting caught up. I'm sharing some things. We're, you know, just bantering back and forth to establish some rapport. And especially if it's somebody that I don't know too well, but even still, I may be there to get down to business, but we are going to have a little rapport building in there. And then uh, number six, as far as principles for leading with the heart is be cognizant of things going on in their life. So for example, uh, one of our newer uh, affiliates under a guy who's going through, um, he's, he's got pancreatic cancer and he sponsored a guy whose son is in the hospital. And I found this out and he's interested in the send out cards business and learning more about it. But, you know, so when I, we got on the phone together, I could have gotten right down to business and jumped in and started showing him stuff because that's what he's interested in. But you know what? His son is in the hospital and his son is very ill. And so um, I spent some time talking to him about that. Um, and that's part of leading with the heart. And, um, and he was appreciative of that. So be cognizant of things going on in their life. If they tell you, if you're calling for business and they tell you something's going on, talk about it, right? So um, those are just a few things that you can do. And I'm sure there's others. If you can think of others, drop them in the comments below for everybody else. If you can think of some other ways to lead with the heart, um, it's important. Uh, go ahead and drop that in there. And now what I'm going to do is I want to show you a few things. I'm going to first, I'm going to go into my send out cards and I'm going to show you my card history for today. Um, and so I'm going to share. Now, usually Monday is a pretty big card sending day for me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go to greener still, just so you can see this. I'm going to greenerstill.com and I'm going to click on login. So you should be able to see this right now. Uh, and you'll notice on the left-hand side, you'll see all the, all the services that I'm currently subscribed to the, right here on the left. So there's the Revolution Office, there's Send Out Cards, Blue 42 for Life, Prompting You, Stream Marketing. Everybody has these on there, but so I'm going to click on Send Out Cards. It's going to take me to my Send Out Cards account. I'm going to log into my Send Out Cards right here on the upper right. So it's logging into the service. 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here on the left as soon as it loads up. And I'm gonna click on account over here on the left. And I'm gonna click on card history on the left. It's gonna pull up my card history and then I can search by recipient or I can search by date. And I'm gonna pull up all the cards I sent in the last 24 hours. That'll be printed tonight. So I sent 22 cards. And you'll notice one of the cards is the same card sent to different people. So these are people that I sent them a card over the holidays and they came back with a yellow sticky saying they had moved. So I messaged them and I got their correct address and I put it in. So I know they didn't get a holiday card from me because it came back to me. So this is, so 19 of the cards today were this card that I sent to the people who cards were returned to me that had the yellow sticker and then I updated their addresses and I resent them this card. This is a campaign, this is an automated send. Stay positive, good thing, and good things will happen. And then I just wrote in here and it inserted their name. I just wanted to send this to you to tell you how much I appreciate your friendship. My life is better because you are in it. The older we get, the faster things seem to move along. And I don't want another day to go by without you knowing that you're important to me. Your friend Jordan put my brand on the back. And I sent that with Norm Dominguez's book, which I have a chapter in called The Magic of Positivity. So I sent that book to all these people. And I'm going to continue as, um, as uh, these yellow stickies continue to come in. I'm going to continue messaging people, getting their correct address, putting them in and sending this card. Now here, this is the interior designer I told you about. She helped me. I did most of the selection of the materials and the countertops and the sink and all that, but she did, she helped me a little bit. And I sent her this card before and after. And I just wrote her a note. And this is a this is actually a also an automated send. It's a campaign card that I created and I saved it. And I'm sending it the same card with a different insert name to uh, all the people that um, worked on my kitchen. So if you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments below and somebody will answer your questions. So this, by the way, ever since the day I walked into this house 20 years ago and I bought this house from that very day, 20 years ago, I didn't like the kitchen. And for 20 years, every time I'd go in the kitchen, I'm not kidding you, I thought to myself, I don't like this kitchen. It took me 20 years, but I finally pulled the trigger. And over the past nine months or so, did some work on the kitchen and got it to where I really like it now. I want to sleep in my kitchen tonight. So um, I won't be sleeping in my kitchen tonight, but I kind of want to because I really love it. So um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, you'll notice I'm sending a lot of automated sets. And so I need to, let me go, I need to go back to my account. And I need to upgrade my account because right now I'm on the $97 plan. So I'm gonna to go to, uh, let's see, where do I find this? I'm gonna to go to send out cards right here. And let me go log in again. I probably didn't need to do that. I think I just went in a big loop. But I need to upgrade to one of the other plans. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I thought I was doing that, where did, where did I? What did I miss here? Let me try it again. Count. Am I just going in a big loop? I was looking right at it today. Right here. Let me try this. I'm sure you guys are coaching me in the group and telling me what I need to do, but I'm going to make sure that I am. I need to be on at least this plan right here. This, this one right here. Yeah. Somebody's texting me to tell me what I'm doing wrong. It's going to upgrade me here. I'm still in my account. Man, my computer's working hard right now. There it is right there, credit card on file, buy. 
Thank you, pricing. Thank you, Marsha. I usually knew where that was. I didn't see it for some reason. I, I wasn't seeing that pricing button. Boom. I just upgraded from the 97 to the 147. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this page right here and I'm going to click on, uh, let's see, I'm going to click on Stream VA, Stream Virtual Assistant, because I want to hire somebody through the Stream VA to uh, go through my Facebook and get people's addresses that are already in my CRM, put them in and send them a card. So I am going to purchase the now this says 347, 150 of that is the setup and then it's just 197 a month. I'm gonna just start with this one right here. I'm gonna add it to the cart. I'm gonna to go to the bag. So it's charging, it's gonna charge me for 150 plus the uh, 197, quantity one checkout. So this is something that I've been meaning to do for a couple of weeks and I just haven't done it. There it is right there. Okay, let's see what we got here. May change this card on file, click here. One, update order, cancel this order. Shipping med method, pay. Do I need to sub submit order? Do I need to check anything? Let's see. Credit card, brown. Yeah, I don't think so. Submit order, let's see what happens. So funny, people text me while I'm on these, like I'm gonna look at these text messages. There we go. So I just ordered the Stream VA. So now I'm gonna have a virtual assistant that's gonna get addresses for me from my, my uh, Facebook. And then they're gonna, and if, again, if you have any questions on this, drop them in the comments down below. Someone that's using it will answer your questions. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Blue42 for Life because I've been using some of these, these products that I really love and I wanna get some more and I wanna get some other stuff that I'm not using right now. So I'm gonna go through the products. I need to order another diffuser. So let's see, I'm gonna order, um, let's see, I'm going to order the, another diffuser. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add that to the cart, okay? And then I'm, cause I, I have one diffuser uh, at my place in Vegas and I want one up here in Jerome. So I ordered another one of those. <clears throat> I want to order this muscle food because I heard it's like one, it's like two carbs or one carb per serving, which I really like that. And if, if, and I, I've been hearing good stuff about it. So let's see, whey protein, chocolate. Perfect. Add one of those. Okay. I got that. Now let's see what else I want to get. Um, I want to get more of the vitamin C. Did you see that in the air? It's not, I don't think that's it. Maybe it is. C boost right here. I'm gonna get another one of those. Okay. And I think that's it for now. I think that's it for now. Now where's the, so I'm gonna to go to my cart up here on the upper right. It's loading up my cart. Should be, yeah, screen's frozen, so it's probably loading up. Man, my computer's working hard tonight. I'm about ready to get another one. Yeah, I'm still, I still have a frozen screen, so I don't know if that's what's going on. Hopefully this will load up here in a second. And if not, we'll just wrap things up tonight. How are we doing on time? Right on time. I may have to complete this order after we're done here because it doesn't look like it's loading. What is my cart? My cart says, yeah, right now I'm just on this page and my screen is frozen. And that could be because my computer is frozen. I don't know. So I'm gonna stop the share. I'll finish this up and place this order. Oh, I was gonna actually have you guys watch it, but I'm really excited to see your comments in the in, down below. See if you have any questions on anything we did tonight. Um, and uh, again, what I want to recommend you do is you don't need to order everything like I'm doing. Uh, I want to use everything because I want to see what, you know, I want to use stream marketing and stream VA and, you know, the, the products and all that stuff, because then it's easier for me to refer it if I like it 
So you want to get stuff that's good, that you know you're going to use that you're going to benefit from. So have a great week. Thanks for your time tonight. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. we got a lot of people to meet with. So um, have a good one. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.